eye in the sky doesn't lie. Progress on California's high-speed rail system is moving full steam ahead. Projects are being completed, others are being started, and some are taking major leaps forward. This is the 2021 Fall Construction Update. Let's start with a project that's now complete. The Road 27 grade separation was wrapped up in Madera County in late summer. This project means cars and pedestrians will no longer have to cross freight tracks. And that means no more train whistle for the nearby homes. Also nearing completion, Avenue 12 in Madera County and South Avenue in the northern end of Construction Package 2-3. Another signature structure is underway at the Cedar Viaduct. False work is now shaping up to what will be the double arches of the Southern Gateway into Fresno. Iron workers will soon begin to tie rebar for the arches. Each arch will be nearly 179 feet long and nearly 40 feet tall. In downtown Fresno, abutment walls are up for the bridge that will cross over the Tulare Street underpass along G Street. Work is also underway on three retaining walls and a pump station that will help keep water from accumulating in the underpass. And you can't help but notice the work happening at the Thule River Viaduct and Pergola in Construction Package 2-3 as it crosses both the BNSF freight lines and State Route 43. There, crews continue to excavate the vents by drilling cast-in drilled holes for the foundation of the structure. 75 columns will make up this more than 3,500 foot long structure. That's nothing compared to the 286 columns that will make up the Hanford Viaduct. This more than 6,000 foot long structure sits adjacent to the temporary girder plant and will be part of the future King Solari Station. At the Conejo Viaduct and Pergola, Work is underway on the edge beams of the pergola structure. On the south portion of the structure, forms have been stripped for the edge beams. And to the north, crews continue to place concrete to form those beams. Several projects have already been completed in construction package four, including the Garces Highway Viaduct. And then there's the Peterson Road Bridge, which is shaping up quickly. Crews are installing post-tensioning strands, which reinforces the concrete. They'll begin pre-stressing the bridge deck in the coming weeks. When complete, the structure will be more than 153 feet long, 52 feet wide, and will take high-speed rail trains over Peterson Road. Construction Package 4's largest structure, the Wasco Viaduct and Pergola, saw the placement of 40 girders in the late fall. Each girder weighed nearly 158,000 pounds and stretched nearly 135 feet long. More girders will be placed early next year. And just south of Wasco, iron workers are tying rebar for the deck of the Kimberliner Viaduct. Concrete for the edge walls have already been placed and concrete for the lower deck will be poured in the coming months. With work on the ground from Madera to Wasco, Our eye in the sky will help us capture the continued progress of California high-speed rail.